Hey guys, it's Rhiannon and welcome back to my channel. Um, first things first, this top is just not flattering. I just don't like it. Oh my god, I really cannot deal with this top. Wait. I'll be okay if I give up. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back. Still in the same place, probably gonna be here till September, which is pretty, like, weird to get my head around. <laughs> okay, so, so in my last video, if you watched it, I was making clothes which has nothing to do with this video but i had my hair in braids and for some odd reason i got bored and i took them out because i've literally been stuck in my house for the last like week or two has it been now um i'm constantly like in my bed lying on my sofa and my hair gets like pretty dry which is not a fun time for me so it has been in this bun for i think maybe two days or three days so i thought to myself i was like hmm what can I do as a video but like still do something for myself, you know? I'm gonna bring you guys along my journey of my like conditioning regime. So with my like hair routine, I don't usually do this. I usually get in the shower first and like shampoo my hair then condition. But today I decided that I'm going to put my conditioner in now and then I'm gonna wash it out tomorrow. Um, which might sound weird to some people. <laughs> for the first half of this video, I'm going to be like talking and then for the second half i'm just probably gonna watch something on netflix because it gets pretty repetitive after a while oh i'm gonna start off by splitting it down the middle i'm gonna tie this side up with my thick hairband so i'm gonna do my hair in like little braids but they're gonna be pretty big on my head so i'm gonna do like maybe six because of like quarantine and that we don't really have the privilege of going out to buy new hair stuff because all the hair shops are closed but then at the same time there's loads of people that are suffering so i can't really complain because i have foods i have water so i can't really complain about that oh that's what i forgot these aren't the usual hair products that i use but we're just going to use them today well i'm only using one but i don't usually use this hair product but i'm going to be using it today because I don't have a choice. This is just a spray bottle that I have. You've probably seen it in some of my videos before. I have this Shea Butter for Natural Hair Hydrating Cream Conditioner. Great for natural and coloured hair. I don't usually use Canty products because first of all, I don't typically like the smell of them. So, a Denman brush. I was gonna write a list of stuff to talk about in this video. When I ramble, I can ramble for ages and you guys will just get bored. Maybe it's better to just go with the flow, see what happens, you know? Um, I'm sorry if I'm just speaking like random rubbish. So we're putting in quite a lot because I like my hair to be very saturated. So this morning I was looking through like TikTok and for some reason, well of course I was looking through TikTok, I saw some like comment being like, oh yeah, this is how Charlie and Chase broke up or Lil Huddy, however you know him, like Charlie D'Amelio and Lil Huddy and I was like, wait, what? Because I did not know this information. And I went on YouTube because they all have these like tea channels and all that, like to see if somebody had commented about, like done a video about it. And I saw that somebody did and they were like, yeah. It was all allegedly, so I don't know if they actually have broken up or not. But apparently Lil Huddy, that little scumbag, cheated on Charlie D'Amelio with someone else's girlfriend. And Charlie D'Amelio was like, okay, I'm not going to be with you anymore then because you cheated on me. You're not saying that I'm your girlfriend when clearly we are together. So if you don't want me, then you ain't gonna have me. Now, I literally made a whole video on the Hype House, which I will link down below. Also kind of baited out Charlie D'Amelio saying that I don't like her. To be honest, um, right now, the, I, don't I don't have anything against that. There was just something about her that I just don't like her for some reason. I don't know why, but if everything that they've been saying about Chase to be true, I feel so very sorry for Charlie D'Amelio because it's like really sad if that's actually happened to her. That's the tea on that. Oh, also, you know Danielle Con, Con, Danielle Con, 13 or 15 year old that nobody like knows her age, that girl. Um, people were saying that she was pregnant and this is all stuff I'm reading online. This girl is either 13 or 15 years old so i googled it well when i say google i like went on youtube and like watched videos on it and people were just making like assumptions 
because she said that she had to have surgery like apparently she lost the baby or she got rid of the baby things like she got a tattoo with a date on it like with wings like and people were saying that it's resembling like a young loss people were just really putting dots together that probably didn't even go together which is kind of sad because i feel bad that people are like butting into her business but she is in the public eye so she's kind of asking for it you're dying for it i kicked it by mistake Right, that is braid numero uno. Next! But it wasn't a match. Why do I feel like I sing that song in every single one of my videos? Cause he was an angel. I wish I could ask you to like comment down below like how you feel, but we've already got past that now. How are you guys feeling? Let me like pretend that you can answer. How are you guys feeling like in quarantine, you know? Are you keeping yourselves occupied are you slowly rotting away i feel like i have loads of stuff to do because i've given myself like a mental schedule it's not written down or anything i have a like to-do list of things that i need to do and it's just been put off for a good like week so read a book think of new video ideas clean my beauty blender like just little stuff like that and i haven't done like any of them and then school has the audacity to give us work is this satisfying i don't really have like the most defined hair so it's not really this could be a Wait, hold on. I swear to God, I could put in the whole container of conditioner. Look how much that is. I could put in the whole container of conditioner on one section and it will still not be fully like saturated. My hair's just that. I'm never gonna finish that sentence. I don't know what I was going for. My hair's just really, it's not dry, but it's just really like thick. She needs a lot of attention. You just wanna do Guys, as soon as one of my videos gets 60 likes, I will do a song cover. Actually, you guys are all gonna just not like the video now because I don't think you want that. 60 likes, guys, and I will sing a song. What songs are popular right now? Anything by Billie Eilish. Literally, I could film a Billie Eilish cover tomorrow, post it, sound absolutely terrible, but still go viral because everyone just loves Billie Eilish right now. Oh shit. Uh, all right, a long time ago, I said that Billie Eilish was overrated. I've changed my views now, guys. People can change. Shock horror. Yes, people can change. I listen to Billie Eilish now. I'd be a hypocrite if I said she was overrated, but not so. But the song Ocean Eyes, right? It is old now. Come on, move on. She's done better music after that. Stop singing that song. Okay, that is braid number dos. I really want to watch like an episode of Caillou or something. Each day I learn some more Caillou. What am I doing with my life? Oh. Do you know how badly I need to get my hair cut? When I was maybe 10 or 11? I was stupid then. Still am now, but like different level when I was 10 years old. So my sister, she cut her hair, I think like two weeks before the date in question. And I was with my mum, my sister wasn't there. She must have been at like a friend's house or something. And I came into the front room and then I said to her, I was like, mum, what would you do if I cut my hair? And my mum was like joking, obviously, because she didn't think I'd do it. She was like, there's nothing I can do if you cut it. I can't make it grow back, can I? I had my hair in a little, like, bun. My hair was straight as well, so I had it, like, folded up like this at the top of my head. So I started off by cutting about this much of my hair of all the ends while it was in a bun. Well, there's no going back now, is there? And she was like, yes, there is. You've literally just cut off the tiniest inch. I was like, no, there's no going back now. And I had my hair in a bun, got the scissors, and I just cut the bun off. I know. I cut off literally all of my hair. It was probably the worst thing I could have done and also the best thing I would, could have done. I think if I hadn't done that that day, it would have been a long time till I was convinced to just cut it off. The reason why it went like okay for me is because I just didn't think about it. I just did it. I just cut my hair. If I would have just waited and said to my mum, mum, I want to get my hair cut. I want to have natural hair now. I could have actually gone to a hairdresser and got them like got it professionally cut but no i had to do it myself so for the next maybe two or three months i couldn't do anything with my hair because i couldn't have it down could i because it was literally like one inch short and i couldn't tie my hair up because obviously if your hair's tied in a bun and you cut the bun off the rest of your hair is not long enough to like get into a bun <sighs> i've got one braid left but <laughs> Plot twist, we gotta do the other side. Right, let's put loads and loads and loads of conditioner in this bit. So 
so that is side number one I did one two five six braids oh so like I said I did six braids we're gonna do the same thing to the other side Right guys, so we are on the last braid. I've come back, I've had my dinner. Um, we're on the last section. That is my hair all done. So that is my hair all prepped for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Sis is back. She is out of the shower, it's the next day. So there's like a kind of change of plan, like slight change in plan. Me and my sister wanted to go and get our hair straightened, but obviously all of the shops are closed. So we were like, oh my gosh, let's do it at home. So to blow dry it first and then straighten it afterwards. I'm going to be blow drying my hair. I have my hair in with the braids and I've washed my hair. I'm just gonna start by unraveling the braid and then I'm going to brush it out. I've got the VO5 heat protectant. How do you, how do you open? How do you open it though? To unlock, press button on side of pump. <laughs> That's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. Oh, okay, so it works now. All right, so I'm going to be using the VO5 heat protectant spray. And before I actually start blow drying, I'm going to use the tiniest bit of olive oil exotic scalp oil this is what um, this is like what my hair looks like now it's blow dried after I finished a section I'm just gonna um, twist it up and just you know leave it be okay so i didn't film when i was halfway done but this is what my hair is looking like all blow dried i did it like as straight as possible so now i have to go over it well i'm not doing it my sister's gonna do it for me but i need to go over my whole head and just straighten it please don't mind me because i just woke up but this is the final um product my sister straightened my hair it is got a cut it needed oh my gosh did it need a cut i will insert pictures now because my sister took pictures of what my hair looked like like before and after oh my gosh i haven't had like a proper cut of my ends since i don't even remember it's been a really long time yeah i just came back to like show you guys the final product i slept on it like i wrapped it up like that like in a circle so that it wouldn't get like all crinkly or whatever it feels so weird to be able to just brush through my hair this easily like it doesn't feel normal yeah so like with a middle parting i feel like i just look really weird um can you just deal with the bad lighting for like one second i'm so sorry uh i'm just like gonna put this in before my outro because i've already filmed my outro but i just thought you guys wanted to know what my hair looks like um after i think it's been two days now um in the first place my hair actually didn't get that bone straight which is why it looks like that now it pretty much looks the same as it does when I first straightened it, except I've slept on it twice, so. But, yeah, that is this, that, this, I can speak English. Hello. She is so short. Like, my hair is so short. A lot more grew, but we cut off a lot, so this is kind of sad. But, like, yeah, I've just never seen my hair look like this before, so I feel like I just need to get used to it. Yeah, this is what my hair looks like after two days. I keep touching it, which is probably not the best idea, because... I don't want it to like get greasy or whatever. But um, yeah, that's what I have. That's why it's two days. After two days. So, so. I woke up at 2 a.m. today. 2 p.m. I woke up at 2 p.m. today. I did go to bed at 7, though. 7 in the morning. I need to fix my sleeping routine because that's just not good for me. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Go and watch my outro. Watch till the end. I hope I haven't bored you. I'm so sorry I had my airpod in this whole time. I didn't even realise. Yeah.
so yeah that is basically the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it it turned out to be a little bit different than i thought because i thought that i was going to be showing you guys like how i'm gonna protect my hair for the week but obviously it hasn't turned out like that because um, my sister agreed for me to just like straighten my hair this week because we were planning on doing it anyway but um yeah so i got my hair cut like i could have cut off a lot lot more because i still have some like split ends and ends that i need to cut off that are just like damaged i really hope that you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe down below if you haven't already follow my tiktok because if you're if you follow my tiktok you would have seen this already you would have seen my hair like this before because not many people have seen my hair straight even i haven't seen my hair straight yeah and then follow my instagram also which is pretty dry right now because of lockdown i don't really go out and take any pictures so i don't know when the next i'm gonna post a picture on there is but tiktok i post like i post every single day so make sure you follow my instagram and tiktok which will be both down below check out some of my other videos that are down below yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it Bye!